All right, today we're going to be preparing uh, my version of honey glazed uh, garlic chicken thighs. I got my some chicken thighs right here. I already cleaned them and washed them off real good. So I'm going to go ahead and season them up real good. Just go ahead and hit them with some garlic. Also, we're going to hit it with some cayenne pepper just a little bit. It's to give it a little bite, not too much, just a little bit. And it's also going to give the chicken some color too as well. All right, I'm going to turn the chicken over. I'm going to do the other side. Black pepper. All right, I'm going to let this sit a little bit so that seasoning can go down in that chicken and then we'll come back and do the next part. All right, next I have a cast iron skillet. I'm going to put about a, about a half an inch of oil in here. So I'm going to put the chicken thighs in here and I'm going to crisp the, crisp the skin up on the bottom of them real good. So I'm just pour a little oil in here. And just heat this up for a minute. You want it about medium, medium low, something like that. You don't want it too high. All right, after your oil is nice and hot, we're gonna lay the chicken thighs in skin side down and we're gonna crisp them up real good. So we're gonna start at here, and just work all the way around. You wanna make sure you place them in real slow because there's not all that oil splash up on you.
you can turn this up a little bit because what's happening when you put that chicken in, the temperature's dropping on it a little bit. So I'm gonna just turn it up just a little bit. And whenever it gets back up to temp, I'm gonna turn it back down and kind of keep an eye on it. I have a few more chicken thighs over here. I'm gonna just do them in batches. So when this get close, I'm gonna do the other ones too as well. You don't wanna overcrowd your pan too much. You wanna make sure everything cooks evenly in this. So we're gonna let this go probably for about 10 minutes maybe. And then once they crispy on that skin side, we're gonna turn them, turn them around and do the other side. And then we'll come back and check them out and see how they look at the end. All right now, after about 10 minutes, we're gonna check the chicken and see how it looks. Let's see what we got here. See that? That's the color that I'm looking for. And I want this same color on all the chicken thighs. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this over and cook the other side. Now some of these are bigger than others and they might take a little longer. Just let them go a little bit longer before you actually flip them over. See that? That's exactly what I'm looking for. Nice and crispy. See this one? This one not quite, but it's almost there. I'm going to just let this one go a little bit longer. Same as that one as well. So. All right, it's looking good though overall. I'm gonna let these three go a little bit longer, then I'm gonna flip them over, let them cook like these, and then we'll come back and we'll check them again. All right, meanwhile, while chicken is cooking, we'll go ahead and make our sauce that's gonna go on the chicken. So I got some honey, I'm gonna go ahead and add in here. I'll have this recipe in the uh, description, so if you want to make it, you can go ahead and go in there and get the ingredients that you need. Alright, got my honey in. Now I'm going to add some... Um, Put some soy sauce in here next. All right, add a little soy sauce. And I got some garlic right here. I took a. a a couple garlic cloves and put them in some aluminum foil and put a little oil on them and roasted them in the oven. And whenever they got done, I cooled them down, make sure they cool down and chopped them up real good. So I got some roasted garlic I'm gonna add in here. Next, I got some uh, barbecue sauce and, and a little ketchup. I got half and half. I'm adding this too as well. It's going to give it some body. Get us a nice little stir. By the way, that garlic that I roasted in the oven, it was probably about, um, I think I did one bowl 
Just roast it in the oven and chop it up real good. All right, I'm gonna let this go for a little bit. I'm gonna bring this up to boil, and then I'm gonna reduce it and just let it reduce. And then this is gonna be the glaze that's gonna go on top of the chicken. So we'll come back to this in a minute. All right, I got the rest of that other chicken in the fryer. But basically, whenever it's done, this is what it should look like. It should be nice and crispy and brown all the way through. So that's what you're looking for when you're making your chicken. So whenever the other ones get done, we're going to come back. We're going to put it all together. I'm going to show you how the end product going to look. Once our sauce comes up to a boil, we're just going to turn it down and let it simmer for a minute until the rest of the chicken get done. All right, next, once our chicken is completely done, I went ahead and drained the oil out of this pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour my sauce over this. I'm gonna pour it all over just like that. So what's going to happen next is I'm going to just let this sauce on this chicken reduce and it's going to kind of thicken up a little bit more than what it is right now. And then it should be good to go. So meanwhile, I'm letting this go. It's going to go for about 15 or 20 minutes and then we'll come back and check it again. All right, our chicken is good to go now. So go ahead and pull one out, show you how it looks. I'm serving mine with some rice. I had a taste for some rice, so I'm going to eat mine with a little rice. This looks good here. I say all together, it took probably about uh, about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. All right, that's it. That's our end product right here. 